Hello and welcome to edumate.tv and these are the headlines for today. Dharmendra Pradhan is India's new education minister. Edumate.tv wishes him a successful tenure. Ramesh Pokhriya completes a historic tenure as education minister. Edumate.tv thanks him for his contribution. The CBSE has directed its regional officials across the country to visit the affiliated schools preparing class 10 and 12 results in order to inspect their work. The board said it will deploy software to partly automate the class 12 board exam evaluation process and aid schools in tabulation of marks. Schools also need to upload class 10 roll number, name of the school board and year of passing to verification and furnish availability of historical performance of schools to be taken as reference for moderation. Besides the class 11 theory marks date sheet and class 12 theory marks date sheet need to be uploaded in a dedicated portal developed by CBC. For students dissatisfied with CBSE assessment criteria, physical exams may be conducted in August if the COVID-19 cases continue to show a downward trend. CBSE has announced that for class 10, the authorities will include 40% marks for pre-board examinations, 30% marks from half-yearly or mid-term examination, 20% from an internal assessment carried out by schools, and 10% from periodic or unit tests. The board will be adopting a 30-30-40 formula to evaluate class 12 students based on results of class 10, 11, and 12 examination, respectively. The CBSE has said that under the assessment scheme for the 2022 batch academic session will be divided into two terms the first term exam to be held in November December and second term examination will be scheduled in March April CBSE term 1 will mostly involve multiple choice questions including case based MCQs and MCQs on assertion reasoning type. The exam will be 90 minutes each and cover only 50% of entire syllabus. The term 2 or year end examination will be based on rationalized syllabus of the second term that is 50% of entire syllabus. The CBSE may allow class 10 12 students to take their board exams from home in 2021 22 if the covid-19 situation deteriorates in the coming months. Candidates who wish to register for IGNU admission 2021 for the new course can apply online on their official website. Dr. APJ Abdul Kalam Technical University on July 8th released guidelines for even semester exams which will be held in a remote proctored mode. Haryana Chief Minister Manohar Lal Khattar said a plan should be made to reopen the educational institutions subject to the strict adherence of COVID-19 protocol. A regular MTech program in defense technology has been launched by Defence Research and Development Organisation and All India Council of Technical Education. The certificates and mark sheets issued to the students under the evaluation criteria formulated will also be considered valid for applying to higher educational institutions and jobs. According to DMK, the word union strongly signified the concept of federalism. Maharashtra government has decided to reopen schools in areas where no active COVID-19 case has been reported in the last month. A block education officer in Orissa Ganjam district has taken the initiative to telecast online classes through the local cable network. NTA has vehemently denied that no such notification declaring the conduct of any ETUG on September 5, 2021 has been issued officially so far. For more information, log on to www.edumate.tv.